The American cowboy who tells us his story with a stroke of the brush in his hand. I was born at Alfalfa, Washington. I, I, I was just born out there in an old house someplace. Our folks were so poor, you wouldn't believe it. People wouldn't believe it. We, we lived sometimes in a wagon, you know, and we'd move around the crop farming. That's just about the way it was all around. And to be on the road, we traveled in that wagon. We lived in it. When I was 15 years old, I was herding cattle, and I'd take that 22 along. And I picked a lot of potatoes, I'll tell you. I used to get two cents a, a sack for that. I did as many murals. I did all the big clubs in Seattle at one time. I started out the El Gaucho and all those clubs I painted at one time. We knew you liked to paint, but what do you do for a living? <laughs> you got that a lot. Riding down the canyon to watch that sun go down. There's a gentleman that's 94 years old. He's just absolutely amazing. You know? And I never heard him uh, deny anybody his time. You know? Takes time for him, and especially the young people. He really enjoys the kids. So tell all the children to come gather round. The chance of a lifetime's at hand. But if you watch a kid and he tends to keep doing something. You watch that part because that's where the, the, the talent is. The, the only thing I got going for me is I paint from my heart. It's, it's a mood. It's a feeling. And I'm amazed that people come by and say, you've got the feeling that feels like the old West to me. The American cowboy who tells us his story with a stroke of the brush in his hand.